hello guys thank you for joining me again for another video if you are a subscriber please do hit the subscribe button i am jojo fine 01 and you're welcome to my youtube channel thank you to my old and new subscriber thank you so much for joining me as you can see for today's title show you guys the huda beauty rose gold palette remaster this is the new huda beauty palette they were kind enough to send me some of their products and this part this palette was included to the PRO packaging I received. So if you want to see how I create this look using this palette and my thoughts on this palette, stay tuned for this video. So guys, I didn't just want to dive into the eyeshadow, but for me, I do my face first before my eyes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my brows. I know I'm going to leave this powder underneath my eyes. On MUA Rich Brown Pencil, I'm going to just use this to outline the brows. Then I will fill in the brows using the Ilo Brow Paint in 10 Dark Brown. Just going to clean using the concealer. Brows, doing brows is not the most easiest thing in this makeup game. It's difficult. So I'm just going to blend using the NYS brow pen, brow mascara. I'll be priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Translucent powder I'll use from underneath the eyes. I'm going to set this in place. We need to set it so that it won't move the eyeshadow. Oh, you can see I'm taking it from the back this way. Yeah, yes, guys. Yeah, we are packaged by Huda Beauty and they include the new Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. You know, I don't have any of the Huda Beauty eyeshadow. This packaging is to die for. Look at that. How cute, guys. How cute is this packaging? beautiful note right here so I don't know I don't have any of eyeshadow so I don't know the formula I don't know anything about it so I'm going to judge with my own opinion and how I see it it's the swatches of the shadows really pigmented on the hand but I always say it's not the hand that's wearing the eyeshadow but the eyes so So it comes with a cover like this. I'm not I'm never going to throw this away. This is pretty and it has a mirror plus so it's right here. I'm really impressed with the packaging, the amount of work she put into the packaging. I am down for packaging guys. Packaging like this is beautiful. When you open it, look at that palette. Look at this. The eyeshadows are really beautiful. Like let me just Put my hand on this. Let me try. Let me try. Oh yes. With this shade right here. I'm just blending this into the crease. Yeah. Let me just put the brush in there. I'm using the same brush by F. I'm going to apply this. At the outermost corner of the eyes i don't have our other eyeshadow but this right here that i'm getting i am loving the pigment i'm going to do my signature look which is hello eyes oh yes would that come true it's, it's really soft on the eyes this palette is not bad 
For someone that I've not tried the eyeshadow, I'm really liking this. That looks like a cranberry goddess. I'm gonna take this shade. Maybe miss this too. I'm going to blend that on the crease. I don't know what type of brush would be suitable for our eyeshadow. So I'm not going to wet the brush. I'm going to take this brush. I'm not going to wet it. I'm going to take the shade. This shade right here called 24K. Let me try and use, use the brush. So this is a fluffy brush. A fluffy eyelid brush. So I think I need a flat eyelid brush. Let me try this one. It's not showing up on the brush. It's picking a bit. I think you have to wash your brush or use your finger. Some of the shadow you need to use your finger. So I'm just blending out the crease, the harsh line, this pink shade called the face. I'm just taking the shadow called Doll Face. I'm just taking that, I'm just using that run the hooded eyes like the gold, the 24k gold. 24k, not 24k gold. Just give it a little bit of something. I just want the eye to pop, guys. I just want the eye to pop. Like So I'm going to take the shade called Hana. I'm going to apply this in the crease just a little bit. I don't want to touch the door face. And the liner I'm using is by Beauty UK. A little bit of cream liner on the waterline. And this liner is by Beauty UK. I've used this several times. Take the shade we use for the crease for the eyes. I'm going to blend this underneath the eyes. Because I'm not going to do like a wing line, I'm just going to take the shade, the black shade. No, that black is really pigmented. I'm going to smudge this on my line. I'm going to take my face powder by BH Cosmetic on the Too Faced brush. I'm going to use it to dust off the Huda Beauty Lashes. I'm just going to spray my face with my Maru Podesco facial spray. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Highlighter Palette. I'm just going to use the two powder and this color as a blush. This is this cute brush by Retechnique. It's not out yet, but... This shade. Get to blend the hash line. For my lip, I'm going to use a nude lipstick. By Huda Beauty, they sent me some of their lipstick. I bought this one. This is the only lip set I have from Huda Beauty. I bought this one, and it has this two right here. I've used this a couple of times. You guys are must have seen this. So I'm going to use this shade Shameless as a lip topper. Huda Beauty lipstick in Girlfriend, then the mini in Shameless. Then I will use the Huda Beauty lip liner. 
in the shade Spicy Girl. I actually like the formula of the lip liner. It's not drying, it's very creamy on the lip. It's not you guys know I have a dry lip. This is not drying me out. I actually prefer this formula than MAC, MAC Chestnut. MAC Chestnut is, is a very beautiful color, but it can dry someone out, mostly when you have dry lip. Oh, that is a very beautiful color. Girlfriend is a beautiful color. I'm going to take the lip topper called Shameless. With this, apply this on top. Yes. Okay guys, thank you for staying to the end of this video. I'm going to say this palette, for the price, I'm on the 50-50 fence with the price because yeah, Huda Beauty is not cheap, let's be frank. Because to me, Huda Beauty is a high-end brand, they're not cheap brand. You have to really invest to buy Huda Beauty, you understand, yeah? So, their packaging, this packaging is really beautiful. I really like Huda Beauty packaging. I'm thinking Huda Beauty and ABH the packaging is out there. They spent a lot of money on packaging, even Too Faced. Too Faced. So, I would say if you have the money to spend on this, you can buy it. It's a very good palette. But the metallic and the shimmer shades, please use your finger. Let nobody like, just use your finger. Like, I try to use my brushes. They were only working, they were not working. So if you are hearing noise at the background, yeah, it's my boyfriend making noise. So you have to use your finger. Your finger is your best too. There are some eyeshadow that you just have to use your finger. Let's be frank. My thought on this is that the matte shadows are really pigmented, but the black though, the black, you have to be very, very careful when you're using the black color because you have to you will have a fallout. You have you will have a lot of fallout. So if you are doing your eyeshadow first, that will be fine. You can do your shadow first before your face. That will be nice. But if you are doing your shadow after your face, like your base the way I did, please put powder underneath your eyes. Put SS powder. It has everything that you need. You can do a smoky eye, you can do like a neutral eyes with this palette. Yeah, so this palette is going to be out on the 22nd of May. If you are in the UK, you can get this from Selfridges, Coat Beauty, I think Harrod, all of that. Link will be at the description bar on where you can get to that beauty. And if this palette is out, I'm going to link it at the description bar. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts on Huda Beauty products. You know, I pride myself on doing affordable makeup. But there's no I still tell you, you can mix it up with a bit of high end. Tell me how you think about Huda Beauty products. If you are going to get this palette, if you have used any of our products, let me know at the comment section. See you in my next video. Bye, guys.